showing you how to do this beautiful frosty frozen butterfly. The base I used uh, Krivelin metallic and pearl colors in a rainbow cake that I made and those colors will be listed below. I did two layers to the wings just to make them look prettier. And then with that dark color on the outside, curve it around your eye, ending at the outer corner of your eye. For the bottom wing, simply bend your sponge, as you see me doing here, and make sure to apply the color going straight out from the outer corner of your eye. In applying stencils, make sure that your paint is really sticky, and you can do this by pouncing your sponge onto it to create that consistency. This way, the paint will be less likely to bleed when you're applying it to your stencils. I chose the largest snowflake for the top center of my forehead and I made sure to get all the different points squeezing my sponge so I had more control as to where I was applying the paint. And then I wanted it to look like snowflakes were coming out from behind my wings. So I put them halfway over my wings and only applied paint to the half that was outside of the wing area. Make sure to do that to the bottom wings as well. Now I did a cluster of teardrops that lead up into the snowflake and I didn't end up liking the way these look so I'll be removing them later on. Now it's time to outline and I'm using a little bit of a thicker brush for this. I believe this is a number four. Make sure to have the outside edges be really thick so you have enough paint to pull in and I'm just using a small dome shaped brush to do this. So apply your color thick, then pull up to your tip to end in a really fine point. Use that dome brush to pull in your color and make sure you don't blend it too much because you want a nice streaky appearance. It makes it look like ice. For added interest, I decided to add a circle right in the middle of one of my loops and I pulled the color from there as well. For the bottom wing, I did an elongated teardrop going into the corner of my eye. Make sure that it ends in a really fine point. That's what's going to keep this design delicate and pretty, having those thick to thin lines. And remember to pull color up on the bottom as well. Try to have the line disappear as it goes towards the inner corner of your eyes so it stays nice and delicate and not too intrusive when it gets to the inner corner. And to help match it with the top, I added a circle here as well. Time for the icicles. These are super easy. Just start thick on your brush and then as you go down, lift up and wiggle your brush and end on the point. These are kind of hard to mess up. They're very easy to do. Just make sure they end very, very thin or they're going to look clunky and not attractive. So I erased those teardrops and I'm doing uh, more snowflakes instead. I thought it would be nice to mimic the icicles on the bottom of the wings in the top area as well. So I'm adding a couple snowflakes here and there. And then from that bottom snowflake, I'm pulling down icicles and that helps to tie the whole design together and I thought it gave it a much more cohesive look than the teardrops did. Fill in the space with some starbursts and little dots, but not too many. And make sure that your starbursts are all different sizes. Finally, I used dots of different sizes to connect the icicles with the rest of the design. That way they don't look like they're just kind of floating in the middle there. And add your glitter. I decided to add glitter just to the snowflakes and my eyelids and my lips. That way the pretty shading of the wings isn't taken away by a bunch of glitter. If you have time, you can add body glue to the inside point of every snowflake. Make sure it dries and add some pretty sparkling gems. This is a really good design to do for the birthday girl. It's a little more special. It takes a little more time, but it's definitely still doable. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and can use it at an event soon. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below, as well as all the products I used in this video and where you can buy them. Bye, everybody.